What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. For a couple of days. Go on. Stop. Oh, yeah. Good, how are you? Oh, I need those glasses right now. For a snack. Aerodynamic. Wheels! <laughs> All right, so game six, big game. We're playing U.S. Elite. They are undefeated at this point in the tournament. They're 5-0, and um, and their team is loaded, to say the least. They had, I think, 21 Division I commits, and we have, at this point, two. So they've, they're the, the, let's just say that they're the heavy favorites coming into the game. They're one of the top teams in the country. Um, and they come into this tournament with a legitimate chance out of the 400 teams. They have a legitimate chance to win the entire thing. So they've got players from, I, I guess you would say their team is kind of based out of uh, the Brooklyn area, I guess. So they, they have a lot of Pennsylvania players, it seems like. So maybe Pennsylvania would technically be their home. But they had a lot of Pennsylvania guys. I think New Jersey, New York, they had Maryland, they had... Um, they had, so they had guys, Virginia maybe, so they were probably six, seven, eight states or something like that. But again, so I think 21 Division One commits. And so we end up throwing our best arm, Bobby Alcock, and they throw a guy uh, that's committed to University of Virginia. So we come out, uh, let's see, in this game we were, were we the home team in this game? I think we were, yeah, we were the home team. So Bobby comes out in the first inning, and let's see. He's throwing pretty good. He was like, every pitch pretty much was anywhere from 87, 88. I think he might have touched an 89. So he's throwing pretty hard. Strikes out the first guy. 
Uh, next guy grinds out. Then we make an error. So I'm like, oh, here we go again. Then we strike out the next guy. So we have a clean inning. Oh, not a clean inning, but we get out of it without giving up a run. In the bottom of the inning, um, their guy is like 89 to 90, 91. So he's throwing hard. He's got like an 83 mile an hour breaking ball, which was a pretty filthy breaking ball. Um, so this is going to be a <laughs> this is going to be a defensive game and a pitching game. We ended up scoring a run in the first. We go up one to nothing, and that's pretty much where the game ends <laughs> because we go out in the second inning. And our pitcher's velo drops just a little bit. He goes from like 87, 88, 89 to like, he's still throwing some at 88, um, but he's down a little bit. He's sitting more in like the 85, 86 range and some 87s. And they start destroying the baseball. So they, well, let's see what happens. We walk them to start off the inning. Then we strike a guy out. And then it's single, single, triple, walk. So now they start really crushing the ball. Then we cam, then they get a couple more knocks and they go up really big on us and there's no coming back from this one. Like this team is a legitimate team, a really legitimate team. So like I said, when you play most teams at 17, you would bat. If you're throwing above 85, it's there's not going to be a whole lot of run score usually usually that's a little bit too much for most guys with the wood bat um, not for us elite so they were turning around that speed like it was almost nothing and they pounded the hell out of the baseball so they ended up beating us 12 to 2 um, it was a good old you know what kicking and uh, we ended up hitting the ball you know I actually thought that we did pretty well we don't see a lot of 90 mile an hour arms especially up in this area. You run into maybe one or two in an entire season. They threw a 90 mile an hour arm and then the kid that they brought in after him was right around 90. And then the kid that they brought in after him was a lefty that was like 87 with a ton of movement. So they just kept coming arm after arm after arm after you, at, at you. And that's pretty much you know what they're known for. Again, they have 20, I think it was 21 D1 commits. And so almost every arm they bring out is throwing really hard. And there's no weak batter in their lineup. So they hit, they ended up hitting 11 hitters. And the, the 11 guy was, seriously, the 11 guy was pretty much just as good as the one guy or the two guy or the three guy. And so there were no easy outs. And uh, when there's no easy outs, uh, you score 12 runs on somebody. So... It was a beatdown. This is the point where we got eliminated. If we'd beaten them, then we had a chance. They would have had to lose one more game, and then we could have possibly moved on. Um, but there was uh, there was no beating them that day. And so US Elite is a legitimate team. I was actually cheering for them. Uh, coach Ferber, their coach, uh, is someone that I've gotten to know over the last year or so. Really, really good guy, and obviously really, really good coach, and put together a great team. And so I was kind of pulling for them to go all the way. I just found out actually that they. Um, I think they came in eighth place. They lost in the quarterfinals, I think they said, um, of the tournament. So I believe they finished in like seventh or eighth. Um, so really, really good job by them out of 400 teams. But we got the crap kicked out of us. So now we finish up the next game will be our seventh game. And we're basically just playing um, for a little bit of pride, but also for, you know, the coaches are going to continue to still come. So guys are still obviously with the whole recruiting uh you know, guys trying to get recruited, they're still trying to play as hard as they can.